At this point, you should have the initial integration set up, as we've already implemented methods to send standard attributes, custom attributes, and custom events to Braze. In this section, we'll go over how to set up push notifications in an Android application with the Braze Android SDK. First, we'll go to Tools up at the top here and click on Firebase. This will bring up the Firebase Assistant. We'll then go down to the Cloud Messaging section and click on Set up Firebase Cloud Messaging. From here, you'll follow the steps on the screen to first connect your app to Firebase and add FCM to your app. First, by clicking on this Connect Your App to Firebase button here, this will bring up the Firebase console. From here, you can add a new project and follow the steps on the screen to create that project. I've already completed this first step, which is why mine already shows connected, and this is the app that I have. We'll then need to add FCM to your app by clicking the button shown in the Firebase Assistant. Once all this is set up, you'll see a green check mark for connected and a green check mark for dependencies set up correctly. When your screen looks like this, you can go ahead and close the Firebase Assistant. We'll now go to our Braze XML file and add some code to enable Firebase messaging. You can place these right under the endpoint string that we added in the last section. Next, locate the sender ID from the Firebase console and add that to this last line of code that we just added. You can find that by going to Project Settings and Cloud Messaging. We'll now need to add our FCM credentials to the Braze dashboard. As you can see in our Android app in the Braze dashboard, Braze needs the Firebase Cloud Messaging Server key as well as the Cloud Messaging Sender ID. You can go ahead and paste that sender ID that we just added to the Braze XML file in here, and we can go back to the console to get the server key, which will be shown in this Cloud Messaging API Legacy section. If you're seeing a disabled sign here, you can go ahead and click on Manage API in Google Cloud Console, enable this, then we can go back here and refresh the screen. We can now copy the server key and add that to the Braze console and click on Save. At this point, we're almost ready to start sending push from Braze. The following code here handles the display of the actual push notification. In the Android Manifest XML file, we'll need to register the Braze Firebase Messaging Service class. In order to do that, we can use the code provided here. Next, we'll need to set up notification icons. Within the Braze XML file, we can add the following lines of code. You can use the assets provided to you in the Shopper app by using the paths provided here, or feel free to use your own notification icons. Lastly, we'll enable deep link handling by adding this line of code to the Braze XML file right underneath the code we just added. From here, we can test building the app and running the project to make sure everything compiles as expected. Once this is finished building, again, we can go ahead and run this app. And that completes the section on how to set up push with the Android SDK. Congratulations on implementing a new messaging channel. Next, we'll look at sending some notifications to our app.